Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I've been doing a spot of research into room diffusers and I want you to know that there are a lot of DIY recipes out there. I think I've tested just about all of them and you know what? They don't work and there's a lot of mucking around. So what I have discovered, and I think that this is quite a good idea, is you can buy the room diffuser or the diffuser base. It's all been scientifically sorted out, it's all measured and it's perfect, and it's not that expensive. You can either use your essential oils or you can get the perfumed oils that are all blended and ready to go. And we are all very busy people and sometimes it's great to be able to muck around, but you know what, at the end of the day, it's just perfect when you just can put this with this and it's all done ready to go let me show you what you need you need the the diffuser base and you also need some perfumed oils that you can get all sorts of beautiful blends if that's what you're into well that's what I'm into because as I said I'm a bit busy you also need some pretty little bottles and you need some reeds now a little tip from me if you already have some room diffuser that's all you know, just all dissipated into the ether and you think you can use the reeds again. Don't use the reeds because they gather dust and dirt and look, you can wash them, but it still doesn't make any difference. You, for a couple of you know, cents, you're best to just buy some new ones. Now, I prefer the natural reeds. These natural reeds are much better than the ones that are coloured and coated. So I've got some black ones here and I've also, got, you can get some white ones. Well, I just want you to know that the natural caney ones are so, so superior. Very, very easy. And I've done a little formula here for you and just to let you know what the best basis is, to a 100ml base, 20 to 25 mils of your fragrant oil and you'll have to, if you're going to use essential oils, you're just going to have to muck around to get those sorted out. That's why I'm so into the fragrant oils. Now, the base, just to let you know, it contains two products. One is ethanol and the other one is glycerol. And the the um, ethanol just makes it suck up and then the glycerol just makes it just slowly just go into your room. The other little tip I've got for you is put the longer the reeds the better and if there's a little draft that will help that fragrance go through. Let me just show you how easy this is. Right, 100 mils of your base and I'm just going to put mine into this little thing here because this is much better. See how that just runs? And the other thing about this is, oh, let me tell oh, too much, too much, too much, Esther. Too much, too much. The great thing about, oh, that's better, 100. The great thing about this is, look at that, it's clear. No, and it doesn't go milky and it doesn't go cloudy. And that is exactly what we want for an out of user. Right, that goes into there. And I always put a piece of um, kitchen towel or paper underneath so that it doesn't ruin your surface because this stuff has got alcohol in it and you know what that will do to your surfaces. So just put that on the top of it. And then into here, as I said, 25 mils to 20 to 25 mils of your fragrant base into your diffuser base. Just give that a little, look at that, it's still a good color. And then using this here, just pour that into the, whoop, be careful, be careful, be careful. You can fill this up to the top if you want to, but I like mine half filled, it's entirely over to you. And then five of your reeds go into there, give that a wee shake around, leave those in there for several hours and then turn them over and you'll have the fragrance on the end. How quick and easy is that? And you know what? I've, why I've done this? I wanted my flowers to have a little bit of fragrance and I thought that with my silk flowers it would be nice to have that with them and then people would think that the flowers were real. Hope you've enjoyed that, I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you again another day.